everyone, it's Simmer Hills and I'm back in The Sims 4 doing a refurb on this um, really old, kind of basic looking build in Oasis Springs. It's Nookstone. It's very um, sparsely decorated, so I wanted to give it a refresh. And also the different, um, the different wallpapers on the outside of the building that don't go up to the roof line. It was yeah it's it's not a good look so i thought i can do something with this build also the roof line being just one way it looked really heavily weighted at one side so i thought let's try and we'll try and make this build feel a bit more um practical and just make it it more balanced because it it was missing a lot of balance. I think that's the biggest word for the original build that it was missing. So I've gone for a bit of a more modern style, but hopefully you do think it still fits in the Oasis Spring world. I know this lot is a bit of a, it, it's a, a strange lot to build on because in the background you've got, you've got a dinosaur, you've got some <laughs> strange signs. So it is a bit of a strange lot to build on, but it's, it's a nice compact lot. So that's one of the good things that I like about it. And I know some people don't like the lighting in Oasis Springs, but I actually really like it. I think that yellowy soft lighting, it's, it's one of my favourites. I wish we had a few more lot, um, not lots, but a few more um, worlds where you had this kind of softer, creamy style lighting. I, I just... I think it looks really nice so yeah I, I really like the lighting in this world but yeah this kind of lighting with a, a greener kind of landscape would be nice as well and I think in morning light it looks beautiful so um yeah I don't know why I've gone on about the lighting but I love it anyway so yeah we're, we're getting into the 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 build now I've removed everything, redone the doorway. The doorway took a while actually. Um, the whole build took me about two and a half hours. So it did take quite a long while. Um, I didn't clutter the kitchen on camera, but there's some screenshots at the end, so you will be able to see it cluttered. The kitchen changed about four or five times. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I was trying to fit it in with furniture and I don't know why I struggled so much, but it yeah it did it just took me such a long while but originally this build was just one bedroom a living room where the the back bedroom is and then an open living room kitchen but like i said everything was really spaced out so i decided to make it feel a bit more homely so it's a little bit more cluttered a bit closer together but we've got two bedrooms and a bathroom the bathroom's bigger than the original bathroom as well um, the kitchen and living room is open plan, although slightly divided because it's got a half wall, but yeah, it's still open plan. You can still go from, you can still see to the living room and the kitchen. Um, and then you've got this tiny little hall between the bedrooms and the bathroom. So it just separates that whole area from the living room kitchen. And I think it's nice to have that little divider because then you're not having to try and get all the doors into the living room. So you've got that little bit of a hallway and it just... Yeah, it's just a nice little separation area from the main living space. Um, this does change quite a bit. So what you're seeing now is is definitely quite far away from the end result. Um, but I did want to show you the process of how I've gone through to select like the final result. Because I could have skipped all this. I could have cut all this out. But actually, this was just my process of getting to where I got to. Um, and I was also thinking about the area that it's in. So I wanted colours that would match maybe the kind of people who would live here. So it's, you know, it's like a desert area. And I think you would want to try and keep cool in this area. So yeah, I've got touches of maybe a bit more traditional decorations, but then some modern touches as well. And I think the kitchen is quite a modern kitchen because it's the new one. Um, so I've tried to have a bit of a mixture of traditional and modern. You'll have to let me know how I've done that. Um, I do normally go for more modern styles. So this was a little bit of a challenge for me, uh, to be honest. But I've, I've had a go anyway. I've had, I've had a try at it. And um, I think I like the final result. I Yeah, I like the final result, but I'm not sure if everybody else will. <laughs> Um, I've also had a go at merging different rugs here. 
and then making it look like it is just one rug and let me know what you think of this one because I've not merged these ones before but it's three different rugs and I've tried to make it look like it's got a border and then it's like the design in the middle of the rug so um let me know what you think of that I, I've merged other rugs before but I've not done it with that one and um I, I quite like the result brings it a bit of it looks like it's maybe a bit of a traditional one as well so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, this is the final colour I go for for the kitchen, but not the final layout. Um, like I said, I did really struggle with with this layout. Uh, and I don't know why I struggled with it so much, but yeah, it, it seemed to be a bit of a challenge for me. So And, and I couldn't fit a four-seat table in with the final result as well. So I did have to reduce that. But there's there is a table under the... Uh, the covering outside at, at the back of the property so I figure because there is more than room there's there's room for like four sims to live here so I figure because it's I think Oasis Springs is more of a hotter climate uh, I don't really play in it very much but I do like to build in it but I think if it if it's one of the warmer climates for the sims then they would be able to eat out most of the, outside most of the time anyway so um yeah there's still there's still that indoor seating but some of them won't be able to set the table maybe it's like a homework table or something inside and they eat outside so <laughs> i've maybe ever thought that too much but yeah this, this is the final layout of the kitchen that i've gone for um i love these kitchen floor tiles um it's one of the original ones but they did some recolors and i love this like sandy beige colours in it um, and it works in this build really well and it goes with the kitchen um, yeah I, re I, I really like that colour I didn't realise they'd done recolours of that and then when I tried that I was I was um, I'll have to use that more often because I, I think that's a really nice a nice swatch for that one um, and just trying to divide up because I didn't want stone throughout the whole of the open space so I've divided it up into wood and then used those little um what are they called like the little they're like just lines I don't even know what to call them they're just lines but they're from uh Spade, I think um and I I think they make really good dividers for rooms like you've put a cover over where wood meets laminate or where wood meets um kitchen liner or tiles or something and then you've just got that strip of cover so I think they work really well for that um I don't think that's what there was intended for but that's what I use them for <laughs> if I want two different floorings in the same area I always use them um but we maybe need some different colors of that actually I would like a black in that um and some darker colors as well because they're I know if I'm doing like a dark floor in the kitchen it yeah it'd be nice to have some some darker colors of it so the the driveway <laughs> the driveway the the path going up to the door it I changed it so many times I'm not even sure if that's the final one it might be I, I can't remember I just I don't know why I was being really flaky with it I couldn't seem to set on one one idea I love this hot tub but I just figured with it being a hotter climate that they wouldn't really need one Otherwise, I would have put it in here because I think it it looks really good in the world. It fits the world really nicely as well. But I didn't end up going for it because um, I, I just thought it's probably not what you want to do. If you're already hot, you don't want to go in a hot tub. So I didn't put one in. Um, the, the wallpapers for the living room, I it, it was a tricky one, not because... I didn't like the ones that I put down but I was trying to not make it too modern or too old-fashioned because I wanted it to be like an old style property that they've made their own and they've maybe upgraded it and that's that was like my thinking as I was doing it so that's why it was changing and chopping and changing quite a bit so the I think this is the one I stuck with I would have preferred like more creamy walls than white but I want it, no, I think I might change it again, you know. I'm not sure, I can't remember. 
<laughs> can't remember. I, I uh, recorded this a few days ago. Um, but yeah, I wanted like a creamy wall with, but I didn't want it to look too modern. So that could change again. But if it doesn't, I've I've still got the the trims on the uh, top and bottom of the walls. So yeah, I think I do think I might change it again. <laughs> I just can't remember. Um, the yeah the the walls I wanted to keep quite um what's the word for it like I wanted it to run through the house so if there was trims in the living room I wanted them in the bedroom as well so I wanted everything to ha kind of have a running theme like they'd done it up um so I've tried not to do it so some rooms have got trims and some haven't the bathroom's a little bit different because when you've got a tiled room it's it's different uh but yeah I wanted the bedrooms and the living room to have the same kind of trims so I don't always do that actually but I, di I did want it in this build because it's only a small build as well so I thought if you if you're doing something through a property of this size you'd probably go throughout and do it so if there was wall trims I wanted them everywhere <laughs> this is the the front of the property is pretty much as I as it ends up at the end I do have add a few rocks and stuff later on but yeah that is pretty much how it ends up and I'm quite happy with the the front of the property because I did struggle with what to put above the door and I, d I didn't really know how to get it all working and for some reason when I tried to put a flat roof above the door to make my own like shelter above the door it was bringing up an error I don't, I don't really know I don't really know what was the issue, <laughs> but it wouldn't let me put floor tiles above the door. So, mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that issue was, but <laughs> it's the same. So I just went along with it. I was like, right, that's not going to work. So let's think of something else. The layout of this room stumped me a little bit. I think the door and the window placement just, I was trying to figure it out in my head and also with the sims routing you want it to be simple for them to get around the objects in the room so it it took me a little while just to get the right layout this room is definitely i think this is probably the most traditional room in the house or the most traditional furniture probably but i, I think it looks really cozy it looks like somewhere you'd want to just snuggle up and read a book and yeah, it looks it looks like it suits the the sim who would live in here. So it's it's got some personality this room and I do I do really like that. I think I think the room not just been a standard bedroom, it's it's been decorated to the taste of whoever has got it. So, yeah, and I I don't use like a busy wallpaper very often, but I just think it suits this room. I think it it looks really cute and yeah, I, I like the I like the effect of it being very personalised to whoever lives here. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know. I hope you like this one. Um it's a little bit different for me. I'm I'm trying to not just do the same kind of builds all the time. So I'm trying to mix it up and use different items in different builds. Although these side cabinets I do use a lot because they're just so versatile. Um, they come in nice swatches and they fit in with, they can fit in naturally with modern and traditional apartments. So um, I think I think they're really nice, nice ones to use. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I always feel a bit, um, I feel a bit like I'm not sure if people will like it when I do things that... I'm not as confident with so I'm not sure what people will make of this one but I I was quite pleased with it um, and I'm always a bit worried when I do traditional builds because I do always try to make them look traditional but with a bit more of a modern twist because I, I just think even if you live in a traditional property you're still trying to fit modern items in so I'm, I, I try to do a little bit of a mix with a traditional pro property not 
only I don't want it to just look old fashioned I think is what I'm trying to get at so that's that's probably where I feel a bit unconfident with the with the decorating style because I'm trying to mix those two the two uh, styles together so yeah I think I think that's where I struggle a little bit but this one I think is probably the best mix I've got so far of doing this style and um, yeah let me know what you think in the comments but I I hope this is probably this is this is a step away from stuff that I've done and it's a bit different so the outside definitely looks more modern than the inside <laughs> so I know that bit is is different but I've definitely tried to keep some character and traditional stuff in the interior. Also, I've used this mirror so many times and I just thought I want to add something more to it. So I put this ivy piece over it and I just thought, actually, it looks really cute. It looks like you've just got some fake um, plants and stuck it on. So I, I just thought it was a nice little addition to the mirror because I, I, I use that mirror quite a lot, but I, I just wanted to do something different with it. This bedroom, I did change the windows just to suit the style I was going for, but I knew in my head what I wanted to do with this one. And it is an idea I've used before, years ago in a build actually, of using this divider to make one room for two children who maybe are getting a bit older and don't want to share. Or in this case, I've done it for a boy and a girl, so they've got their own private spaces but there wasn't enough room to give them a bedroom each. So they have share a bedroom, but they've got their own individual spaces. And I think the, using this item, it makes it really nice because you've it's like they've got their own room, but they're, yeah, they're, they haven't got their own room, but <laughs> they've, got, they've definitely got their own designated spaces in this one. So it's quite nice, especially for a boy and a girl. You, you know, you want your own little space. So, um... The galley space is definitely more cluttered. They've got um, they've got like makeup, jewelry, a mirror, so they can get ready. <laughs> maybe this is a teenage girl, and then the boys' side. I think I've maybe decorated it for a bit younger, so maybe it's a child, um, primary school child, and a high schooler. Is yeah, I I think that the decoration for the boys' side is definitely a bit younger than the girls' side, so. It's an older sister and a younger brother, I think, <laughs> in the, these rooms. Um, but I suppose if, if you did want to download it, then you could make the boys' side more grown up. Um, you, you could add like a computer or change it for like an older teen and suit that style but they've still got the designated spaces already so yeah or if you for example if you wanted to change it so that the girl's young as well you could change the items there and put some teddies and and some little bits for a younger daughter so you'd still have the two spaces but depending on which family you'd want to live there you could just change the items um so it's definitely something where you can personalize it if you don't want the items that have been put in. So I think that's one good thing. So yeah, like I said, the, the boys' side is definitely younger. They've got the arts table, a teddy, just some toys. And um, yeah, I've tried to add some little decorations to each side just to make it personal to the sim. <laughs> um, they've definitely got their own styles, but obviously the wallpaper had to be the same on both sides because it was, it was a cohesive room, but they've just got their areas that they can make their own and they can do that with accessories so <laughs> that's that was my thought process I don't know if you think differently when you're building but that was my thought process um so yeah we're getting kind of to the end of the build it's a lot of like finishing touches and like I say I didn't put all of it on camera because I forgot actually I forgot to, to decorate the kitchen and then I was like oh I'd uploaded it to the gallery I had to take it off and then add all the kitchen clutter and then upload it with the clutter so I re 
I re-uploaded it and then did the screenshots. So they, yeah, the final finished thing is on the screenshots and it's on the gallery. So if you want to go on the Sims 4 gallery, it's Simmer Hills and you can just download it and have a look. And if you do use it, please let me know. Um, just nice to know if anybody does want to play with it or if they do change things up gives me ideas for future ones as well so yeah it's it's just nice to know that that it's getting used maybe or that how things that have changed would help in your gameplay or maybe things that I'm missing in the builds that would help with gameplay because like I say I'm more do the building side rather than play so I'm not always good with that side so yeah that's pretty much it I hope you've enjoyed this build and uh it's it's been a bit of a quicker one but <laughs> it did take me a while to build so enjoy the screenshots take care bye